How are we doing, Incog family? I hope everyone is keeping well, keeping safe, and as usual, I hope everyone is training safe. So, uh, another quick little video, and just addressing a question that I've been getting recently. Yeah, and it's what do I do when price is in a range? Yeah, now I'm going to keep it very simple here. There's other ways you can look at this, and that's completely fine, but I'm just going to keep it very simple. Yeah, because I believe keeping it simple is pretty much the best way. Okay, that's um, my personal opinion on things, right? Now, before I start to speak about ranges, let's just quickly recap on the different types of market structure, right? So, we have low lows and low highs. At this point, we can clearly identify supplies and control, right? The market is bearish. Selling will leave, lead you to the path of least resistance, yeah? Now, we have high highs and high lows. Yeah, at this point, we can clearly identify that demand is in control. Yeah, we might see demand chains forming, so on and so forth. At this point, um, market's uh, the market is bullish, and buying will be the path of least resistance. Now we know that that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, we're not just going to get a clear flow. Um, we're not always going to get clear order flow, shall I say. Yeah. The next type of market condition that we will see, that we will see, right? It's not we may see, we will see, right? Is range in markets, right? You can call it range in markets, you can call it sideways markets, consolidation, whatever it is. Yeah. Essentially, it's just sideways moving markets. We don't know who's in control. There's no clear direction, right? Supply and demand are essentially fine. So at this point, very simple, right? Two things you can do. One, stay out. If you're not comfortable trading in a range, stay out. Just be patient, right? A lot of trading is just being patient. Remember that. Don't ever forget that. Yeah? Number two, if you want to trade it, trade the extremes. Yeah, and these are the simplest ways to doing it, especially those starting out, um, you know, maybe, you know, looking into ranges. These these are the things, um, these are two things that I would definitely um, be looking at, right? Either stay out or just trade the extremes. Yeah, now, in order to trade the extremes, you've got to make sure that you've got enough range from top and bottom, right? If it's a really bad range, then you just want to completely stay out. There's no need to force anything, right? Because markets will come round. Okay. So what I mean by that is, essentially, if you've got, so do this first. You don't want to get thrown about at the EQ of a range. Here you see a lot of. Um, indecision pricing right at the eq of a range a lot of indecision pricing yeah so what it, what i mean essentially when i say trade the ranges uh, trade the extremes sorry is um and you can do this you don't need to do this but you can is essentially trade the top and the bottom sort of 25 percent yeah literally at the extremes so you're essentially selling from the top buying um buying from the bottom yeah you want to keep it really simple yeah so got a few examples just to look at and as always leave it up to you guys to test it see what you think of it and use it or not use it no problem um not a lot of moving around just here on the h4 right so once you identify these ranges yeah if you look at the sort of eq right look at sort of the eq here you don't want to be getting caught with this messy price action right you don't want to be getting caught here you just literally don't want to get thrown about at the middle right for example here yeah um of these ranges right look at this price action here yeah at, right on the eq of this range right so once you identify the range just understand that you don't want to get caught at the middle of it right ideally what you want to do is 
sell from the tops, buy from the bottom, right? Sell from the top, buy from the bottom, and keep it that simple. Keep literally keep it that simple, right? It does require patience, but trading requires patience, right? Sell from the top. This price action here in the middle, you don't want to get involved in that, right? You're just going to get thrown about, and there's literally no point, right? But when it comes to the extremes, the extremes, you can look to sell and buy, yeah? Now, another thing, like I said, about staying out, if you see ranges like this, if you identify ranges like this, this is not even worthwhile to look to trade, right? From a H4 standpoint here, right? So when you start to see ranges that are forming, so for example, let's have a look here. Here we go. Here's another one straight away. This is just not worth it to look to force anything, right? Just wait for um, price to show you who's gained control and then look to play those continuations after. Yeah. So once you identify the range, it's best to one, stay out. Okay. If it's a really, really terrible range. So if there's enough range from top to bottom, then look to play the extremes, look to play off the extremes, right? You do not want to get caught at the middle, at the EQ of these ranges. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just wanted to address it because I've been getting those questions. Um, yeah, so if you guys like the content um, on this page, give it a like, give it a share. And if you've not already done so, subscribe to this channel. Um, forgot to say, uh, like I always say, it's uh, if you guys got any more questions or any questions, just give me a shout. Especially on Telegram, Telegram's been really active. Um, it's good to see people putting in their charts, people asking, um, you know, sharing their ideas essentially. Yeah, it's really good to see people helping each other, each other out, etc., etc. So if you've got any questions for me, just put it in there and I will get back to you. So until next time, trade safe.